Next call comes from Ronert Park, California. Hello, yeah, this is Bob Bancroft, and I live in Frank, Frank Riggs District, and he failed to mention that the Peace and Freedom Party got 15% in that election, so I think there's more independents out there than are mentioned. But my question to you is about the problem of health care in this country, because my fiancé and I are both employed full-time, and we can't afford it. And I think that's something that you're looking at addressing in this Congress. Okay. Let me be, uh, when I campaigned for office in Vermont, there was no issue that I talked about more than the crisis in our health care system, the fact that it's out of control, and that we need to do what virtually the entire industrialized world is doing. We are the odd people out. Our system is considered throughout the world to be the weird and strange system. Throughout most of the industrialized world, in fact, with the exception of South Africa, every other industrialized democracy has in one form or another a national health care system which says if you are a citizen of this country you are entitled to all of the health care you need with virtually no out-of-pocket expense now the beauty of national health care in this country is that we can have national health care without having to spend more money than the current 650 billion dollars we're spending on the non-system that is presently in existence and the reason for that is that if you have a national health care system similar to what goes on in Canada, you can do away with about $70 billion in terms of billing expenses, in terms of profit taking, in terms of bureaucracy. You go into a Canadian hospital, you give them their card, you don't get billed anymore. There aren't 50 people in the basement of that hospital figuring out whether you have Blue Cross, Blue Shield, or Connecticut General dunning you when you're late paying the bills. You don't have people working in doctor's offices worrying about how they're going to get paid. Everybody gets paid. It's the same system. There is one insurance company. We now have 1,500 separate insurance companies. I think the very fundamental question that we as Americans are going to have to ask in terms of health care, do you want a health care system whose function is to provide the best quality health care to the people, to be deeply involved in preventative medicine so that we don't get sick, or do you want a system which is based on the profit motive? where a doctor looks at you and says, hey, you got a great disease. We can make at least $50,000 out of your disease. Okay? You have drug companies who are ripping off people right and left. Uh, during the course of the campaign in Vermont, some pharmacists gave me some documents which were very interesting. I think it's pretty widely known that prescription drugs manufactured in the United States are sold in Canada and in Europe for significantly lower prices than they are in this country. Why is that? Because the national health care system tells these huge pharmaceutical companies, you know what, you can't rip off our people. You're not going to sell your product unless you give us a fair price. In this country, the drug companies get away with murder, and I should say literally murder. How many times I have talked as mayor of the city of Burlington to elderly people who said, Bernie, the choice I have to make is between high-cost prescription drugs or food. That is an outrage. Okay? So I think the basic question is, do we provide health care to people in a non-profit way, in a human way, or do we see it as another business in which certain people the drug companies, the insurance companies, the AMA, and their friends, the medical equipment suppliers, are able to make tens of billions of dollars in profit. Very simple question that needs an enormous amount of debate. 